The goal of this tutorial is to illustrate the control points editor's role through various examples. First example is a typical fisheye indoor shot. Here, the difficulty lies in that the walls, floors, and ceiling are covered up with a recurring pattern that misleads Autopanel's control points detection algorithm. It is, however, easy for the human eye to place the control points in a smart way. The first step is to spot the way the pictures have to be linked and remove those links that are not pertinent. Here, the first six pictures represent the horizon and must be linked to each other, while pictures seven and eight, respectively the zenith and the nadir, must be linked to the first six pictures. Once the irrelevant links have been taken care of, we'll use the control points editor to create or reinforce the links that interest us one by one. Let's start with the horizon. We have to make sure that each of the first six pictures are linked consecutively. In order to do this, we will select the two pictures we are interested in by maintaining press down the command or control key. Then, select the control points located in the irrelevant areas, the mosaic for example, then press up to remove them. Now place control points in a high detail area. Here we will use objects placed in the room. Repeat the process for each picture and don't forget to link the zenith and the nadir with each one of the first six pictures. Let's launch the optimization so that Autopano stitches the panorama again according to the new control points. The pictures are now correctly stitched and the rendered panorama looks great. The second example is also a fisheye shot but with different issues. There are only three shots, though the overlapping is very thin and doesn't allow Autopano to automatically detect the control points. We can see that in the detecting process, Autopano only recognizes two pictures of the panorama. To fix this, we will force Autopano to include other pictures in the panorama thanks to the detection's parameters. Now we are going to link the pictures together, just as we did in the previous example. Select the pictures two by two and use the selection tool to remove bad control points and add new ones in the high detail areas. Launch the optimization. The panorama is correctly stitched. This way, from pictures that seem impossible to stitch at first glance, we can come up with beautiful panoramas thanks to a clever use of the control points editor. 